How to Lose 10 Kilo The Natural Way Introduction There was a period when the urge to lose weight was absolutely unheard of, in this world. People ate well, but they also worked hard. They got up early in the morning and worked for the entire day. This job required a lot of physical exertion. On this project, people were excavating, planting, and harvesting in the fields they tilled the ground, rode horses, and worked on the farm. Ranches and farms as a result, they were able to eat nearly everything they wanted. They could have as much as they wanted. But that was a long time ago, and times have changed. The majority of us work in sedentary occupations, that require little or no exercise. As a result, practically every city inhabitant is concerned about gaining weight. It's not about having an hourglass figure, or a body that is flawlessly chiseled and toned. It's more about maintaining in shape and staying healthy, in order to live a long, disease-free life. Everyone understands that a few more pounds, can lead to disease. Watch those excess pounds melt away if you follow the advice in this video. Make sure you drink plenty of water. Water isn't merely for flushing poisons away. More water in your body will make you feel healthier and more fit in general. It also makes you feel satisfied, so you don't feel compelled to eat as much. Water on the other hand, has no calories. Drink a glass of water first thing in the morning. It's a fantastic way to begin your day. A glass of water lubricates the insides of your body. You can still drink a cup of tea or coffee in the morning, but only after a glass of water. Before each meal, drink a glass of water. Water fills up your stomach, making you feel fuller without having to eat as much. While you're eating your dinner, drink another glass of water. This is yet another technique to fill yourself up. Take a sip after each bite of food rather than drinking it all at once. It will aid digestion and make you feel fuller faster. Have a bath instead of a shower, or go for a swim. Your body absorbs water through the paws, and you will feel great for next few days energized and ready to go anything. Avoid sweetened bottle drinks, particularly sodas. They're loaded with sugar and calories. Foods high in water, such as tomatoes and watermelons, should be included. They're made up of 90% to 95% water, so eat as much as you like. They satisfy your hunger without causing you to gain weight. Instead of drinking fruit juice, eat real fruit. Although juice is frequently sweetened with sugar, fresh fruit contains natural sugars. Fruit provides a lot of fiber, which the body requires, and it is also a good source of vitamins. Make your own fruit juice if you have a craving for it. On the market, there are numerous juicing machines. Fresh fruit is preferable to processed fruit. Fresh fruit has more fiber than processed and canned fruit, whereas processed and canned fruit is almost always sweetened with sugar. Increase the amount of fiber you consume. Fiber is essential for your body, so make sure to include it in your diet. Consume as many fruit and vegetables as possible. Consume a lot of vegetables. The best vegetables are leafy greens. Every day, Include a salad in your meal plan, consume food wisely, make prudent eating choices. Grab a fruit or vegetable instead of chips or candy bars. As you eat, keep track of how many calories you consume. The quantity of calories and serving size for every packaged product may be found on the label. Buy a calorie tracking book if you're eating unprocessed foods. If you eat more calories than you should on one day, Add some extra physical exercise to your daily routine the next day. Avoid fried foods at all costs. The cooking oil seeps into the dish and adds unnecessary calories. Meals should not be skipped. When it comes to losing weight, skipping meals is the worst thing you can do. It has the exact opposite effect that you desire. Every day, you should eat at least three regular meals. Cooked or canned vegetables are inferior to fresh vegetables. Vegetables should be eaten raw whenever possible. When you prepare them, about half of the vitamins are lost. Every day, one egg. It's better if you limit yourself to three eggs every week. Limit yourself to one egg each day if you're used to eating them every day. Make chocolates a treat rather than a necessity. Every day, eat a variety of meals from all dietary groups. It not only aids in weight loss, but it also aids in the fight against deficient disorders. To avoid being bored with your diet, vary the things you eat on a daily basis. Very limited or no alcoholic beverages. Try to have breakfast within one hour of waking up, 
to give your body the energy it requires for the day. Although breakfast is the most essential meal of the day, it does not have to be the most full meal. Carbohydrates should make up 50 to 55 percent of your diet. It is a fallacy that while you are on a diet, you should attempt to avoid carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide immediate energy. Proteins should make up 25 to 30 percent of your diet. Protein plays an important role in maintaining your body's health. Fats should only account for 15% to 20% of your total calories. Make an effort to eat a vegetarian diet. Although a vegetarian diet is healthful, research has revealed that it typically lacks crucial minerals obtained from animal consumption. Allow yourself to consume meat on weekends if you are following a vegetarian diet. White meat is preferable to red meat. White meat, such as fish and poultry, is better for you than red meat. White breads are inferior to multigrain breads with high fiber content. Multigrain breads help you get more fiber and protein into your diet. Pork consumption should be reduced. Pork is not a food that will assist you in losing weight. As a result, the less pork you eat, the higher your chances of losing weight are. Also keep in mind that pork includes pig products such as bacon, ham, and sausages. Sugar consumption should be limited. Sweeten your food with sugar replacements. They're just as sweet, but they're not as fattening. Treat yourself to a cheat meal now and then, but only for the sake of flavor. Many foods should be avoided in your diet, but you may feel an insatiable need for them. Don't completely avoid them. Allow yourself to indulge once in a while, but only in moderation. Use them to satisfy a need rather than to fool your stomach. Take pleasure in the flavor. Keep an eye on your fat consumption. Each calorie in a gram of fat is 9 calories. You can estimate the percentage of fat in your food by knowing the total calories and the amount of fat in it. The fat content should not exceed 30%. Take it easy on the salt. Obesity can be caused by consuming too much salt. Replace butter with cholesterol-free butter. It has the same flavor as the original, but is considerably healthier for you. Try baking your meal instead of frying it. Baking is a healthy way to prepare meals because it does not call for a lot of fat or oil. You won't need to add oil if you cook in a non-stick frying pan. Instead of cooking your vegetables, steam them. The ideal option is to eat your vegetables raw, but if you don't like raw vegetables, try boiling them without any added salt or pepper. This is the most nutritious method to eat cabbage, cauliflower, and a variety of other veggies. Carry parsley with you at all times. It's a good idea to snack on parsley in between meals. It's high in vitamins and helps to keep your breath fresh. Choose low-fat or fat-free alternatives. Although fat provides us with nutrients, it also adds calories to our diet. Proteins and carbs are more superior sources of nutrition. It's also better for your heart. Crash diets should be avoided. They are harmful to your health, and if you stop using them, you'll gain weight. Crash diets do not work for weight loss. You may drop a few pounds initially, but once you stop the crash diet, all of your weight returns. Make it a practice to chew all of your meals at least 8 to 12 times, including liquids and soft foods like sweets and ice cream. The addition of saliva to the food is necessary since it initiates the digestion process. Wine that is dry is preferable than wine that is sweet. Sweet wines have a lot of sugar by nature but dry wines have had most of the sugar fermented off. When you've decided it's time to start exercising, take it slowly and don't be frustrated if you don't reach your fitness objectives after the first week. You are more prone to sustain injuries if you try to push your body too hard in the first few weeks. Check your weight before beginning a workout plan and keep an eye on it for changes, but don't expect a dramatic drop right away. It could take a few weeks before you notice any changes. It is, however, critical that you continue to keep track of your weight. Because you're increasing muscle mass while reducing fat, your overall weight may not alter as rapidly as you'd like. Your size, on the other hand, will shrink over time, so take regular measurements of your body. Reward yourself when you detect a change, but not with food. Go to the movies or treat yourself to a new dress or accessories. This can assist you in remaining motivated. Every week, Take a day off from exercising. Your body requires a day or two of relaxation and rejuvenation. Exercising as much as possible outside. 
It allows your body to breathe fresh air and be exposed to sunlight. It also keeps you alert and gives you a break from being cooped up all day. At home, you can work out. To exercise, you don't need to join a gym. There's no need to invest in fitness equipment. Look for exercises you can do without any equipment in the library or on the internet. If you do decide to purchase some equipment, a Wii Fit is an excellent choice that makes exercise enjoyable. Exercising with a friend may be a lot of fun. It should ideally be someone who is as committed to exercise as you are, or your enthusiasm may wane. When your body has had enough, come to a halt. It's not necessary to force it. When you've been working out for a while, your body will start sending you signs. Pay attention to your body, especially in the beginning. One step at a time is all that is required. When you're out of breath or a section of your body tells you it's had enough, come to a halt. Gradually increase your exercising time. Excessive changes in workout duration might fatigue your body and put you at risk of injury. Instead of adding 30 minutes to your training program, add 10 minutes a week for 3 weeks. Choose an exercise routine that fits your lifestyle. Because we all have various lifestyles and occupations, find an exercise plan that is right for you. Instead of standing, take a walk. If you are able to walk, do so. Make sure you're not in a fixed position. Pacing around is a great way to pass the time. Pacing can help you think more clearly if you're thinking hard about something. Instead of sitting, take a stand. Do not sit if you are able to stand. The golden rule is to pick a less comfortable position. Sit instead of lying down. The rule we discussed earlier applies here as well. In front of the television, replace the comfortable couch and chairs. If the furniture in front of the TV is uncomfortable, you are less inclined to sit in front of it. Stand up and stretch every half hour if you have a seated job. The majority of today's jobs are sedentary, seated jobs. Stretching every half hour keeps your body alert and your metabolism going, which aids in fat burning. Try wandering around while making phone calls. When possible, take the stairs rather than the elevator. If you need to get to the 40th level, take the elevator partially and then walk the remaining distance. Smoking is detrimental to weight loss. While smoking does not cause weight loss, it does cause other issues such as unpredictable eating patterns and an over-reliance on substances such as coffee. If you despise running, keep in mind that you do not need to run a marathon to stay in shape. For most people, 10 minutes of cardio per day is sufficient. Try walking if you can't run. Most people can stay active with just 15 minutes of brisk walking per day. Assuming you have the time, consider walking to areas you would normally drive, such as work or the grocery store, if they are not too far away. Although it will take longer, the health benefits will last a lifetime. It may sound unusual, but some individuals claim that drinking black coffee before a workout helps them lose weight. Although there is no strong evidence to back this up, nutritionists believe that the caffeine in coffee causes the body to rely more on fat for fuel during exercise. It's worth a shot. Excessive coffee consumption can desensitize your body to the fat-burning properties of caffeine. Refrain from utilizing remote controls. Get off the couch and manually change the TV channel. When we're fatigued from work, we often enlist the help of others to complete simple tasks for us. This isn't a major issue. We have the ability to do these things for ourselves, but we do not. As though they were regular stairs, walk up and down escalators. Get up and walk around during commercial breaks on TV. Reach over and touch your toes, or do any other basic movement to start your blood pumping. Wiggle your toes and fingers as much as you can. This is a stress reliever that also allows you to exercise your hand and leg joints. Turn on some music and get ready to dance like no one's watching. Allow yourself to let your hair down every now and then. Consider your days as a rambunctious adolescent. Close the door to your room, crank up the volume on your sound system, and do the craziest dance you can think of. Leap on your bed and then jump off. Roll about on the floor. Have fun with it. Carry a frisbee or a soft flying disc with you. Collect up and go get it after tossing it about. This is also a great approach to relieve stress. Throwing something makes you feel fantastic. Although you aren't interested in the throwing portion, 
you are interested in the fetching part. Every time you get up to retrieve anything, you're stretching your muscles and joints and forcing your metabolism to work harder to burn more fat. Park at least a block from your location and walk the remaining distance. Because you may not have time to squeeze long walks into your hectic schedule, this is a way to make sure you get some exercise every day. If you're using the bus or metro, get out at a station sooner and walk the rest of the way. Try pelvic gyrations when no one is looking. Because your midsection receives the least amount of exercise, excess weight tends to accumulate there. Stomach crunches may be too tough to begin with, but gyrations are a far more gentle exercise. Pelvic gyrations cause you to thrust your midsection in all directions, which is the most effective approach to tighten all of the muscles in that area. When you walk, tuck your stomach in. Get the right gait while also exercising your muscles. Try doing some breathing exercises. Weight loss can be achieved by breathing exercises. If you complete the breathing exercises correctly, you should be able to put a lot of pressure on the muscles in your midsection. Each time you take a breath in or out, you will notice a tightening of these muscles. So take deep breaths, they're healthy for you. Take up yoga. Yoga is one of the most effective techniques to lose weight. One of the advantages of yoga is that you learn to regulate practically every muscle and joint in your body, which eliminates the problem of weight gain. Experiment with massaging your lover. This is a pleasant approach to shed pounds. It's something that can bring a lot of pleasure to your spouse while also assisting you in getting some exercise. 50 punches in the air it boosts your metabolism and aids your cardiovascular system. Rather than stepping up and down the stairs one at a time, do so in pairs. If you have a dog, go on a run with it and let it lead the way. You'll be amazed at how much exercise a dog can provide. Allow your pet to walk you and you'll be running before you realize it. Participate in a dance lesson. Dancing is a great way to lose weight and burn calories. Dancing burns a significant amount of calories. Lean against a wall with your hands flat against it and your face close to it. Push your body away from the wall with your hands. It is easier than reclining on the floor and mimics a standing push-up. If you have access to a pool, take advantage of it as much as possible. Swimming is one of the most effective ways to exercise your entire body. Play a game of table tennis or a game of basketball. Losing weight with games is a pleasant method to do so. Playing a game is a lot more fun than working out on your own. The best thing about gaming is how addictive they are. It's something to look forward to, and the program is completely stress-free. In fact, the more you play, the less you'll think about it as part of your weight loss plan. You'll be able to increase your social circle while burning those calories. Any workout should begin with a warm-up of 5 to 10 minutes and end with a cool down of 5 to 10 minutes. Before your body to respond to exercise, it must first acquire a specific level of readiness. Do not carry your phone with you, instead, leave it somewhere where you can hear it ring. You must get up to answer the phone when it rings. Raise up onto your toes and then back onto your feet while riding in an elevator. Repeat this process numerous times. Try flexing your buttock muscles as well. In fact, we may twitch and flex many muscles in our bodies without attracting others' attention. It's not a big problem if others see you. Remove your clothes and examine yourself in the mirror. If you don't like what you see, you have even more motivation to exercise. Turn to your side to get a good look at your profile from the side. This is a great way to see if your tummy is starting to expand or has already bulged. Sit on a banister rail or balustrade that will hold you and pump your legs like you're riding a bicycle, being careful not to fall off. This may appear to be a weird idea, but it's a lot of fun. And having a good time will keep you active. Slouching in your chair is not a good idea. Keep your belly tucked in and maintain an erect posture. Slouching is a negative habit to have. It's not only harmful for your back, but it also makes you look chubby. Take a deep breath in and tuck your tummy in as much as possible. Hold your breath for a few seconds before slowly releasing it, being careful not to let out your belly. At least 50 or 60 times a day, try to breathe like this. Each time you perform this after the first day, you should feel your stomach muscles tighten. This should be done for at least 20 days. You will have lost at least 1 inch by the end of the 20th day.
I've included a table below with the various workouts and the number of calories that each one can burn. Choose something that you are good at and that you will love doing in the long run. It's entirely up to you which workout you do, just make sure it lasts at least 20 minutes. The true calorie burning begins only after you have completed the workout for 20 minutes. Aerobics 200 to 250 calories. Bicycling, stationary 250 to 300 calories. Bicycling, actual 300 to 400 calories. Running, 5 to 6 miles per hour 300 to 350 calories. Stair climber 200 to 250 calories. Swimming laps 350 calories. Walking briskly 150 to 180 calories. Thanks for watching please subscribe, like, and comment. My next two videos are cute dogs, and all natural cancer remedies that really work. The doctor told us to get our affairs in order. Next time we seen him he said, I don't know what you're doing but keep doing it, from 3 months to live, to 11 years later.